This morning we had for the second time a seminar called Telecom Solutions for TV Players. My name is Luke Welcher, I'm Head of Marketing at PNT Luxembourg in charge of the Fixed Line Division. We had people coming from the whole of Europe speaking about TV and it's, I would say, it's um, TV getting closer to IP. My name is Ingo Ries and I head up business development for Rovi in Europe. We're the leader in television guidance. So everything around electronic program guides um, and basically the new guide that I presented this morning that we're bringing to the public is three guides. It's a linear television guide for eight days in the future. It's also access to a broadband guide and it's also your personal guide where you have your pictures and your music that you have somewhere in your home network and you can watch it on your television screen. The primary target for this is uh, consumer electronics devices, so primarily televisions actually. We're bringing the technology onto the television set so that everybody else can publish its content on the TV easily. So I mean the main, the killer application obviously is catch-up television. So if you, if you watch TV and you missed one from last week and you just click, click a button and you see it in the full resolution HD from beginning to end and it's still from your broadcaster and the broadcaster is benefiting the same way because it's his advertising in there. Um, that is the killer application. What we focus on is uh, ethnic groups. That's how we started our business. Uh, first by news gathering and then by distribution of these television stations, made them available to other people in Europe. My name is Dagobert Wieda, Managing Director and Founder of uh, GMDS, Global Media Distribution Services. In the 1990s there was a war in the Balkans. A lot of people were involuntarily uh, displaced, as they say. Um, these people actually didn't want to leave their country, but they still wanted to see the television stations from their countries. And we started to specialize in providing these uh, television stations to their homes. Uh, either via satellite or via cable or via IPTV. We believe actually that there's a small revolution going on, but it's, uh, it's done in a very decent way because nobody wants to upset the viewers. Because in the end, the viewers are the people who are going to like to, to get their content in new ways than they used to. It's not true that internet is going to uh, sweep away every way of looking at the television that we do uh, uh, for the future. Uh, still, the television set will be the focal point of entertainment and people will sit in a chair and enjoy it. We clearly see a trend that uh, TV channels not only need traditional solutions, but more and more they need streaming, they need hosting, they need data centers, they need connectivity. In, 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 that, in that field, the PNT can bring a lot of things to uh, any company who wants to, uh, to start a business or to develop his business uh, in Luxembourg. A lot of uh, media companies are looking for Luxembourg when they want to, to go to the next step of, uh, of development, when they want to start new businesses. They are looking for Luxembourg for many reasons actually. The first one is for sure, the, I would say, the sound foundations. The stability of the country, uh, the workforce we have here, the flexibility of the country, but also because the country has an excellent infrastructure. As I was saying, data centers, connectivity, uplink, whatever you, whatever you need. I believe Luxembourg has a major opportunity to further grow into one of the key hubs for media services in Europe. It has everything it takes. My name is Anne Mirat. I'm a partner in PricewaterhouseCoopers in Luxembourg. Tax should not be a business driver. It should definitely not be the sole business driver, but our uh, customers, businesses tell us that it is an important element and continues to be an important element. So what the business is looking for when making up its decision where to set up is an ideal business environment and also tax environment. Luxembourg, for a lot of time now, has been offering exactly that environment, uh, both in terms of business and in terms of tax. We don't know whether it's 10 years, 20 or 50 years, but I totally agree with what I've seen on, on, on one of the slides that the, the whole infrastructure we have, like 
one broadcaster too many, it's sort of dissolving and at the end you have this opportunity that yeah, users can choose a la carte, non-linear or whatever you, the term, or over the top are, are, the, are the terms used for that, um, to pick and choose their content. And there's a, there's a whole industry existing today which has to change and will be affected. And to be honest, I think we're st st still really early stages of this. In one sentence, TV gets closer to the web and the web gets closer to TV. The web, sooner or later, will be, for the, for the end consumer, he will not know anymore whether what he's watching comes from the web, from the internet, or comes from a traditional broadcast platform. We don't know yet which technology is going to be the all-out winner. Uh, we as GMDS believe that that's going to be a combination of all technologies. Content is king, technology is prince.